Hello everyone, welcome to Mascot Concepts, the series where I create mascots for teams that don't have one. Today for episode 8, I will be creating mascots for the MLB team, the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. The Angels are one out of the three teams in the MLB that don't have a mascot, but that's going to change today as I've created two different concepts for an Angels mascot. So without further ado, let's get started. And yes, you heard me, there's only two concepts this time. I'll explain why in a little bit. Before I share my first mascot concept, I should explain how I come up with mascots for teams without one. I usually think of the team itself. For example, I think back to their history and do a little bit of research into what would represent them best. I also think of where they play at, that being the state or city, as well as merchandise since some of these teams use a fake mascot in some merchandise. So with all that information out of the way, here's the first mascot concept for the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. So the first mascot concept I've created is already technically the mascot of the team, but unofficially. That being... a monkey. Now what does a monkey have to do with the Angels? Well, like I said, a monkey is the unofficial mascot of the team. He is known as the Rally Monkey, who is portrayed by a real capuchin monkey. Now, the history of the Rally Monkey is a little too long to cover here, but in short, he was created as a joke and the Angels ended up winning the World Series in 2002, so he stuck around even to this day. So with that out of the way, here's the first design. This is my design of the Angels Rally Monkey mascot. As for a name, I'm actually going to stick with Rally Monkey, because it's too iconic to change. His design is the same as the normal cartoon design seen on merchandise, but with a few changes. He has a huge lip with large teeth sticking out, and a huge baseball cap. The only major change I made was the eyes, as the original had standard eyes, but I changed them to googly cookie monster eyes, because he's a monkey. And monkeys are crazy, just like baseball fans. And nothing is more crazy than googly eyes. Now while his head has white fur, his body has black fur, which matches a real capuchin monkey. His hands, feet, and face are tan, while his belly fur and the tip of his tail are white. And of course I won't talk too much about the uniform, as it's just the normal angel's uniform. Overall, this is definitely the best choice for the Angels mascot. I mean, he's already used by the team unofficially, so why not make him the official mascot? Also, monkeys aren't used as mascots much despite being a popular animal. The only one I can think of is the Phoenix Suns gorilla, but that's an ape, not a traditional monkey. But now let's say the Angels want the monkey as the mascot, but not this design. Well, here's another alternative monkey design. That's right, for the first time in quite a while, I've decided to create an alternative design for one of the mascot concepts pitched. This monkey design isn't too different from the last one, as it's just got a few color differences and new face shape. It's based off some stuffed animals sold at the stadium. His hands and feet are now red, and his black fur body was replaced with gray fur, and his face was also made a darker gray color. And last but not least, his eyes are now solid black with shine, but I forgot to add the shines in the drawing. Overall, I like this design, but I still much rather prefer the original monkey. This guy just looks a little off. He also reminds me of the Kalahari Resort's monkey mascot. But let's move away from all this monkey business and talk about the last concept I created. The last mascot I created is a pretty weird choice, but when I explain it'll make a little bit more sense. That being, a quail. Now what does a quail have to do with the angels? Well, nothing related to the team, but the California quail is the state bird of California, and it would make total sense to use a state symbol as the mascot. I mean, that's what Lovell did. So with all that out of the way, here's the design. Here's the design for the quail. He doesn't have a name, so as always, you guys come up with a name in the comments section. There's really nothing too noteworthy about his design, 
It's really just a quail wearing an angel's uniform. He's got a black and white face with a little bit of red on the top of his head, with gray feathers on the bottom. The main thing to mention about this costume is the thing on the top of his head. You know how quails have that thing on their head? Well, I decided to turn it into a halo to represent the angels. I even made it blue to match the logo. His wings are nothing too special, they're just gray and brown, and that also applies to the tail. He also, of course, has big yellow feet. Overall, a quail is a great choice for the angel's mascot, considering what he's based off. There is one problem with having a quail as the angel's mascot. That problem is that there's already way too many bird mascots in the MLB, and I don't think there needs to be another one, but it's still a good choice. And on that note, this concludes my Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim mascot concepts. And there you have it, mascot concepts for the MLB's Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. I know that some Angels fans may not actually want a mascot, and I can respect that, but don't get mad at me, this video was just for fun. However, if anyone working for the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim is watching this, please consider getting a team mascot. It'll definitely help you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next month on Mascot Concepts Season 2. Bye-bye. Oh my god, I forgot about these guys.